All right, welcome back to Jay Gray Channel. Oh, the light in here does suck. Again, my camera, I'm trying to get it. Uh, uh, all right, we're going to go with this. But anyway, um, I said I'd do a follow-up about um, talking about, you know, uh, how it's okay to move on. Like, um, let's say you go to a place and you don't feel comfortable or maybe you get real bad service. You know, um, it's, it's okay to look for another place. I know you are kind of limited, though, um, especially, like, with... You live where I live in, in Minnesota. I didn't have very many choices. Okay, so uh, kind of walk it through. You know, before I had the bad teeth pulled and whatnot, I was determined. I wanted to see this guy that I seen an infomercial on Saturdays. I seen the before and afters. I was like, this guy's the greatest. I gotta go. See, I I have to go there. This I don't care if it costs seventy five thousand dollars. That that's a guy who's doing my teeth. You know. And, I, and, th and that's how I looked at it. I was like, I am going to see this. This is going to be the dude, right? Okay. So, you know, I first, before that, I go see a, a major chain brand type uh, that's known for it. They have commercials for, I don't really want to say their, their, their name or anything. But, you know, I went and I just checked them out or whatever. And I found out that um, I, I would have had to see quite a few different dentists. Like, I would have had to see one to... Oh, excuse me, take my teeth out, the bad teeth out, that I would have had to see an oral surgeon. Ooh, tacos, right? So so I would have had to see another one for something something else, right? So I, I decided I I wanted to kind of, you know, I, I looked into it because, first of all, I heard it was a little bit cheaper go, to go with uh, the, the national brand name one, okay? So then there's this other place that does uh that does the uh infomercial by by my house that i seen so uh and i'd seen their work and i was like that's that's where i'm going that's the one and i mean i was set on it and, and the thing is i hear a lot of people saying it too that uh you know after they've seen somebody else get work done i want this guy to do it i want that and they are set that no matter what that's the guy who's going to do their teeth and I, and I I feel you I feel you because I I've been there, and I said hey that's the guy who's doing it. So anyway, the guy who I decided that was gonna do my teeth right. So I, I said you know what I'm I, I make an appointment there. I go have a consultation, you know. Um, and and I go in there and basically, the, you know the people were nice. I just there was something. Uh, something didn't go and, and maybe you know I, I go in there and, and everything was a maybe everything was a we'll see everything was a, I kind of felt like I, I'm like a real confident person when I tell you I'm gonna do something I'm gonna try my damnedest I'm giving you my word that's how it's gonna go okay and when I go in I see these people that have you know dedicated years of their life to doing this and you walk in they're like well we're gonna try well I, I kind of was like kind of bummed out I'm like they, they have the, the infomercials they got you know I'm like they're showing all these before and afters these people do beautiful work and I get in there and I, you know I meet the dentist the dentist is basically was trying to sell me on uh, getting getting my teeth pulled the bad ones and getting either you know the, the denture the partial the what have you and it was like 10 12 grand for, for, for just the fake fake little par partial pieces and that was two to three times more than other people so I I had to step back and go wow this this what I had what I had thought of you know I, I got to, I gotta go look into more people the more people so so I started making appointments at other places you know cosmetic place this place that place and it's ungodly expensive to do that it really is you gotta call them up and say, you know, um, ask them for like an appointment to just sit down and see what they offer to, to get, to, you know, get rough estimates, you know, type stuff. Um, cause once you make that appointment, you know, you, the appointments, they always want loads of x-rays. They always want loads of that, but you know, just get a rough idea of what you need to have done from at least one reputable dentist and then you can kind of shop around and see where you feel comfortable and all that. So, 
And, and another thing I've been seeing lately is people have been commenting that uh, they like they feel like they're having a lack of communication or something like that with with going to the dentist. It's always I've been hearing oh office worker this and somebody complaining about that and and, and that's a legit complaint. I, I don't I don't care. I'm not you know. I don't feel like I'm a whiner by any means, but if something's in the way of my chain of communication, it doesn't sit well with me. So, you know, um, I had sat down when when I went and got my teeth done, and I had to go make appointments with oral surgery, okay? I went in there. There was dentists waiting in line, and the woman turned her back to us in the oral surgery department and sat and talked on the phone for 27 minutes. 27, okay? Literally closed down her station, left people sitting there because they already had their appointment signed in. It didn't, they didn't care about anything else. And so my dentist, he knew that there was a major problem, major problem. And it, and it was with, it had nothing to do with the dentist. It had to do with the fact that, you know, you had the, the uh, front desk two office workers that were one was gone outside all the time like they were flipping on and off one was outside and the other one was sitting inside and be on the phone talk to her girlfriend or something it, it was unbelievable I, unbelievable so my dentist had it set up where I went in the press the dentist or you know they you know he's a surgeon himself he decided he did it he was going to do all the surgical work himself because after four and a half months, when you can't get somebody just in, it, it, you know, it, it, it's time to stop playing. So um, one day he just, he talked to uh, the head of his grad department, and they decided that they were going to do it, and they knew that. And I wasn't the only patient, though. So, you know, there were other patients that were having major problems getting in to see oral surgery. So um, what I am saying is when you, when, when you um, are going to get things done like this, don't, look and say um especially watch the videos that's see that's one reason like my dentist great work beautiful great work right i don't name his name because i didn't ask him or or anything like that but if you want to know i'd privately tell you and kind of i can tell you right now if that he's uh going to be working in i believe it's british columbia the victoria area canada so but um don't just watch somebody's videos hear a name and think that's the only person on the planet that can fix you because they did such a great job on somebody else. It's a big plus that they did a great job on somebody else. Don't don't get me wrong, it is a big plus. But I I had that tunnel vision where I went in and and then, you know, back back to going to this place, you know, uh, back to going going to this this place that I really, really wanted to, to do my dental work. I you know, I go in and it wasn't all that. It, I felt like there was a lack of confidence in the air. And these are people who have all the before and after pictures, you know, all the, this is what we do, come in and check us out, you know. Uh, they offered big discount just to get you in the, the door here. It was like, you know, I think it was like your first visit was almost like a free thing just to get you in the door, you know. And um, uh, so, you know, uh, I get there and it, it sounded like a bunch of babies. They tried to sell me on hair. Well, uh, pull your teeth and basically we can they, they didn't need like uh, and I, t I, I asked them about implants and I'm sorry I was able to afford them and everything they looked at me like it was just out of the question we weren't even going to talk about that I said well if I couldn't even get a plan I was kind of surprised I was like I thought that was what you did here you know and, and, and here I had thought for a very long time this is the place I gotta go to the, I can only go to this place well Surprise, surprise, you know. And then I get in there, and the the, uh, the head guy that they that they show in the infomercial, you can't, you know, that like owns or runs the place. You you can't even see that guy. You know, you get to see one of the underlings. Not that they're, you know, you're probably seeing their work on the on the uh, infomercial too. But you know, it's you you kind of feel secondary. You feel like, oh, they put this guy on TV, and then you come in, you're gonna see. A different guy. Not not that he's not just as good, but you just haven't seen his. You know, the the story wasn't about him. It's not. You're not as excited to start with. You know, so I, I just want you to know that 
you, know, you always have to keep that line of communication open. And especially if you, if you feel that there is uh, maybe something going on that, especially I've been hearing lately with like office workers, or and it, it just happens to be one of those things I've been hearing about lately. Uh, I'm not mentioning anyone in particular by any means, but uh, but if you feel like you're you're lacking something, when you talk to your dentist, sit down and, and you know say, look, I want to make sure that we have an open line of communication. I don't want to call up and have it be a guessing game when I'm talking to the front desk or how can we make this easier? You know, work out a plan. You know, and, and I did it with my with my own dentist. It. it uh, since he was a grad student, he basically gave me his own private number and an email, and I could ask any question I wanted 24-7. I mean, you know, these are, these are people that, you know, have dedicated 12 years of their lives before they even make a dime. So, I mean, they're extremely busy, so don't, don't leave an email and think you're, you know, and sit in front of your computer waiting for a reply because it may not be for a day or two till they get back to you, you know. So, uh, but, but, my guy was really good. He would he would call almost. I, I would guarantee you, within hours, you know, he was really good about it, and he was super busy. So, always keep always find a way where you feel good. The chain of communication is open. You know, you you got to do it that way. You have to. All right. So until next time. All right.